This track is dedicated to all the people that don't know nothing about chem. To all the people that don't know nothing about the condensation of ethanol heated with sulfuric acid to make diethyl ether. To all the students in the struggle, you know what I'm saying? So good, baby, baby. Uh, it was all a dream. I used to just lay in bed and scheme about how to make diethyl ether with the team. Versus ethanol, liquid color less, a two carbon chain alcohol. I mixed ethanol with H2SO4, heated the catalyst till 1H plus was no mo. It lost the hydrogen ion that attached to the O on the hydroxyl group. Positive, that's what it became, then lost H2O as a product. What a shame. Now there's two carbons left after the theft. Time for attraction number two with the second crew. Oxygen attracted to the 2C, which set the H plus ions free. H2O is the product that is made along with C4H10O. Oh, it's reacting like I knew it would. Diethyl ether, a dangerous anesthetic. But it's all good. And if you don't know, now you know, students. We know very much about this reaction. But if you don't understand, we'll tell you some more. We tried to tell you, but you just don't understand. And an alcohol or OH group attached. Its physical properties are from the OH group in the short carbon chain. Ethanol is a volatile, flammable, colorless liquid that is a psychoactive active drug and is one of the oldest recreational drugs known. Ethanol produces a state known as alcohol intoxication when consumed, best known as the type of alcohol found in alcoholic beverages. It is also used in thermometers as a solvent and as a fuel. In common usage, it is often referred to simply as alcohol. The condensation of ethanol, when reacted with the catalyst H2SO4 in higher temperatures, produces diethyl ether. Some impacts ethanol has on the environment are it reduces fuel economy, corrodes pipelines, storage tanks, and engines, and its production diverts land from other uses. It endangers South American rainforests and it Diethyl ether is a molecule prepared through the condensation of ethanol and the condensation of ethanol with the presence of heat. It is a four carbon chain molecule containing an ether box. Um, diethyl ether was primarily used as an anesthetic in the 19th century due to its unique properties, but due to dangerous side effects, it is no longer used as one in the Western world. It is a colorless liquid, extremely fit, flammable, and is harmful to skin. Diethyl ether is very flammable as it ignites at 160 degrees Celsius. Um, due to this, it is commonly made using steam, limiting the temperatures to 100 degrees Celsius. It needs to be prepared at this temperature to ensure that ethylene isn't a product. Equilibrium is reached between the reactants and products because the condensation reaction is reversible. Diethyl ether also reacts with halogens, sulfur compounds, and oxidants, and poses serious fire risks. It was used as an anesthetic because of its ability to block sensation, primarily pain. Much like ethanol, diethyl ether is also used as a recreational drug as people enjoy its effects on consciousness. But it has many dangerous side effects. It can be harmful if swallowed or inhaled, cause a sore throat, painful red eyes, headaches, nausea, drowsiness, and even death depending on the amount of exposure. Although it has many dangerous and harmful side effects, it is used in many third world countries <laughs> as an anesthetic to this day due to its cheap price.